Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. This is my next video on the topic term symbols and here in this video I am going to discuss about the writing of term symbols for non-equivalent electrons and here I have chosen three different electrons for writing the term symbol. For example, here I have taken the example of 3D, 4S and 5P electrons. So three electrons are present in these different orbitals, right? In my previous video, I have discussed about the three equivalent electrons like P3. So, I have discussed that in detail. So, here you can get the comparison between the three equivalent electrons and non-equivalent electrons, how to write their term symbols. So, let's start with the video. So, the example is this, three different electrons in different orbitals I have taken. And in the first step, what we are going to do, we are first taking their spin spin correlation so first select their spins so s1 for this d electron is equal to 1 by 2 for one optical electron and for the second electron of 4s orbital i have designated it as s2 which is equal to 1 by 2 again and for this 5p orbital i have designated this as s3 which is again equal to 1 by 2 so here first what we are going to do we are adding this s1 and s2 first and once we get the resultant then we add to that resultant the s3 i am showing this here so how we are going to add that is important so here the resultant spin value will be equal to s1 plus s2 to s1 minus s2 differing by 1 so here we are going to add this S1 and S2. So S1 plus S2 will give us S prime. We are designated it as S prime. And this is equal to S1 plus S2 will be equal to 1. The next value is S1 plus S2 minus 1. In that case, we are getting 0. If we subtract both S1 and S2, then we again get this 0. So only two values are possible for this S prime, right? Now we will consider this S3 and we will add this S3 to the S prime values respectively. Here I am just showing you again. So S prime is equal to 1. So to this 1 we are adding S3 in the same manner as we have done this. So on adding S prime is equal to 1 plus S3 as 1 by 2. So we will get 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 minus 1 will give us 1 by 2. If I subtract 1 minus 1 by 2, then again I will get 1 by 2. So no other value is there. Now moving to the next value of S prime. Here it is 0. And now we are doing the same exercise with this S prime is equal to 0 and S3 is equal to 1 by 2. So in this manner we are adding. So we will get 1 by 2 again. So in this manner we get three different values of this S. Now moving to the step 2. Orbital angular momentum value. For this D we are now going to designate the L. So that L is equal to 2. For this S, this small L is equal to 0. And for this P, it is equal to 1. As you know, for S it is 0, P is equal to 1, D is equal to 2, F is equal to 3 and so on. We have written over here. Now, in the same way as we did for the S, we are going to do the same exercise for this orbital angular momentum that is capital L. So this is equal to L1 plus L2 up to L1 minus L2 differing by 1. Right. So first we will take L1 plus L2. We will get 2. And on subtracting this L1 minus L2 we will get again 2. So no other value is there. Now with this L prime we are adding the L3 value in the same manner. So here on adding the L prime with L3 we will get 3 and on subtracting 
1, we will get 2 and on subtracting 1 from this 2, we will get 1. Or if we subtract L prime minus L3, then we will get 1. So, there are 3 values for, for this total orbital angular moment, right? Now, moving to the third step. So, in the third step, we already calculated the L in the second step and S for the first step. Now, we are designating the states corresponding to this total orbital angular momentum. So, for 3, we are having F. For 2, we are having D. For 1, we are having P. And from this S, total spin angular momentum, we are going to calculate the spin multiplicity. So, spin multiplicity is equal to 2s plus 1. And on adding these s values, respectively, we will get 4, 2 and 2. Right? So, three different spin multiplicities corresponding to these three total spin angular momentum values we are getting. Now, we are going to write the terms. So, on writing the terms, we are following. First, we will take one state and its multiplicity. So, how we are going to write? So, F, I am giving the example of F here. So, F and its spin multiplicity 4. Second time we are writing this F and its spin multiplicity is 2. And third time we are again writing this F and its spin multiplicity is 2. Similarly, we do the same exercise with this D and with this p. So, for each term, we are writing their spin multiplicity, which are 4, 2 and 2. Right? Now, this can also be written in some of the books in this manner. So, this 4f is written over here and this 2f, 2f, rather writing two times, it is written in the brackets as 2. So, this can be written. Here, you can see also for 2d and for 2p, you can see. Right? And here, we are considering the spin orbit interaction to determine the levels. So, here, is this levels can be written like this. 4f will have 3 by 2j value, 5 by 2j value, 7 by 2j value and 9 by 2j value. 4j values are there. Similarly, this 2f has 2j values. How to calculate this j value? j value is equal to L plus S to L minus S differing by 1. So, here for this f, we are having L is equal to 3. And if for this f, we are having S is equal to 3 by 2. So, on adding that, we are getting 9 by 2. And on subtracting that, we are getting 3 by 2. And Moving from 9 by 2 to 3 by 2, differing by 1, we will get 7 by 2 and 5 by 2 value. So, in this manner, we can write down the term symbols for non-equivalent electrons, right? Now, one more thing which I bring to your notice. Here, we are having this spin multiplicity 4. And you can see here we are having 4j value. Here, spin multiplicity is 2 and we are having 2j value. Spin multiplicity is 4 and we are again having 4j values and here 2 but here we are having 3j values. 1 by 2, 3 by 2 and 5 by 2. I am highlighting this. Why this 4p has 3j values rather it is having 4j values. So, the reason behind this is that if we are having S is less than L, then we are following this 2S plus 1. If S is greater than L, then we are following 2L plus 1. So, here S is 3 by 2 and L is equal to 1. So, our L is less than our S. So, we are following 2L plus 1 degeneracy of this value. So, here we are having three values for, of this j, rather having four values for this j. So, in this manner, you can understand. So, rather having 24, we are having 23 energy levels for these three non-equivalent electrons. The next is the ground state term symbol out of these given levels. So, what are the rules for selecting the ground state term symbol? So, the rule is, First, you 
choose the highest spin multiplicity so here we are having three different term symbols which are having same multiplicity out of these three term symbols we are selecting that one which is having the highest value of l so f is having the highest value of l that is equal to 3 so 4f is the lowest energy level and the lowest energy level is also known as ground state term symbol now what about this j so for non equivalent electrons we are having the lowest j value as the lowest energy level if we are having the equivalent electrons in that case if the orbital is half filled then we are taking the lowest j value as the lowest energy state if our orbital is more than half filled then we are taking the highest j value as the lowest term symbol right so here the ground state term symbol is this so these are the energy ordering of the term symbols so by seeing this video and my previous video for 3p electrons you can compare how to calculate the term symbols for equivalent and non-equivalent electrons i hope you find this video useful so please like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching